Hey guys, got the new 4PLS in here and I wanted to go over some of the details and differences between it and the older 4PL. Excuse uh, my missing uh, grip uh, grip pad there. But anyway, um, I've been a Futaba team driver since 2008. I've been lucky enough to be involved with uh, developing some of the programming for radios like the 4PL, the 4PLS, the 4PKS, and uh, things like that. So I wanted to go through some of the differences and new details that were incorporated into the 4PLS. Anyway, um, just as far as form factor, the shape and everything of the radio is the same. The only difference is the buttons on the back here are new. Uh, it now has a four-way directional D-pad rather than just the simple up-down pad that was uh, on the original 4PL. Uh, the, the slider button and things like that functions the same, it's just got a different look. All the buttons have a black chrome uh, style similar to the 4PK SR, uh, but those are just a, a simple form difference rather than a, any different type of function. The antenna is shorter on the new 4PL from the old one. Uh, not a huge difference in height, but just something to, uh, to notice. Uh, beyond that, everything is basically the same. Uh, so we are going to jump right into the programming. All right, guys, getting into the programming differences between the two radios. Uh, first of all, again, the biggest difference with the 4PLS is the telemetry. First ground system from Futaba to come with telemetry. That may not be as big a deal to us crawlers, but likely some of you uh, racers and things like that may find that to be advantageous. Uh, another big difference when compared to the old 4PL, whether you went to the full uh, power on mode or you went to display only, the startup menu looked the exact same. Futaba has now introduced a display mode menu for when you power on. You can still access all of the menus, which will look a little different if you're familiar with the old Futaba menus, um, but all of the uh, same functionality is there. Noting the difference between the menus now, uh, they went to a more 4PK type menu structure here with a menu 1 and a menu 2. You get to that by navigating left to right with this new 4-way D-pad rather than the old 2-way on the four, original 4PL. Uh, all the same programming is in there. You can get to the 4-wheel steer mixing, the dual ESC mixing, all those different types of things uh, through these menus rather than having to go in through menu one, go down to advanced, and then get to those additional uh, menus. So it now has this return function at the top to get back to your main screen. Uh, on your main screen here is where you'll see this information down here at the bottom to get to more of the telemetry information. It also relays some of it right here on that main screen from where you would uh, likely be driving. Uh, to get to those further uh, telemetry info, you can see here uh, different modes, some of the other information, uh, receiver voltage, temperature, RPMs, external voltage, those are all dependent on what sensors you have installed on the vehicle. And again, those don't come with the radio, those are sold separately. So be aware of that if that is something that you are wanting to do. Make sure you price all those uh, components to make sure this radio is exactly what you want. So. Um, Returning back to the main menu, again, this will look, sorry, my battery's going down the, the other one. Uh, this will look very familiar with the uh, servo view down at the bottom. You can't uh, see exactly what's going on. Um, so right now I've got the four-wheel steer mixing activated while I was just testing out some of the uh, new programming just to make sure everything was working properly. But beyond that, all the same programming inside of this radio as was in the old 4PL, just some of those new little updates that we touched on. If you guys have any other specific questions, let me know. This is a pre-production radio, um, but nothing, uh, nothing will change in the program or anything like that from what you see here. So, uh, happy to help if you guys have any questions or programming tips on the 4PL. I've got lots of uh, videos and how-to. I think most of my videos are on my old channel, but I'll try and make sure I get new programming how-tos done 
and touch base on uh, anything new that I can help you with with the telemetry system as soon as I get sensors and things like that in. So touch, uh, subscribe to the channel and I'll try and make sure to get more updates as they, uh, as I can. So we'll see you guys later.